Terry coming off the screen, pull-up jumper oh, over yes. O'Neal. I, as I told you, he's the master of the pull-up. <laughs> Trent, 30 puntos na. so tough to stop on that pull-up jumper. 30 puntos na na ipapasok ni Jason Terry to go along with three rebounds and one assist behind the back pass from Wade. Wide open, Payton for the outside bomb. Gary Payton, six points. Boy, Miami needed that shot. And that might be the shot that the Miami Heat needed to fire themselves up. Terry, nakuha ang contact, and that shot will count. The Jet, he's delivering the goods now. Alam mo, nararecognize siyang mispatch. Tira mo, layo na ni Peyton, no? And of course, Shaquille has to extend himself to try to stop that shot. Pero wala na, it's too late. Watch it here again. And with that, Terry will look to complete a three-point play. 32 points lang na ipapasok niya dito. I mean, off the dribble, Gary Payton is no match defensively against Jason Terry. Pero sino pang huugutin ni Coach Pat Riley? Jason Williams is sitting down. He's not a good defender either. Three minutes and 14 ang natitira sa fourth quarter, Payton. Coming out, finding Wade, who's trapped by the double team, and there is a foul. And he'll go to the line as a penalty na. Howard. Josh Howard ang pupulot ng uh, foul na yun. This looks like it's going down to the wire. And before I forget, gusto ko lang sana i-greet ang uh, aking anak na si Christina, who sent me a very, very beautiful email, Happy Father's Day message. And a belated That's Happy Father's much. Day as well sa lahat ng uh, nanunod ngayon mula sa Miami, Florida. Incidentally, that the assistant coach ng Miami, si Eric Spolstra, uh -huh. na half Filipino siya. Nakausap natin. Alam natin kung gano'ng kahalaga ang Game 5 ng isang best of seven serie na tied at two wins apiece. Whoever wins here will get a twice to beat advantage moving into Game 6 in Dallas. Game on again, this is the fourth quarter. Still the same starting lineup ang uh, ginagamit dito ni Coach Avery Johnson. And Terry launches the three. What up? And three Miami Heat players closing in on that defensive rebound. And this is a critical possession now for the Miami Heat. At muli na naman mapipigil ang, uh, it's a hack -a time. ang oras dito. Hakashak time. And Dallas giving up the foul. At yun yung huling foul ni Sagana Job. That is his he sixth foul. Out, but they put Shaquille on the line. And you don't want to see this. It goes down to a foul shooting contest. And Avery Johnson, I don't know if that's the play that he wanted. But I'm sure that's part of the plan. Hakashak time. Now, of course, he nira pwedeng gawin yan with two minutes to go in the game. Because a foul away from the ball will mean a free throw and possession. But at this point, that's a penalty na ang Dallas. They are hackashacking. And O'Neal is still missing. Mula sa free throw line, he is 2 of 11. Mula sa free throw line. So now, if you're Coach Pat Riley, do you want to sit out Shaquille? With this much time left. 2.44. Maybe he should have sat him down previously. Oh, but look, an offensive rebound, they call a foul. There's a foul, I think, on Haslam, and that'll be number six. He pushed off. So if I were Pat Riley, I would have sat down Shaquille and then bring him back with, last, with the last two minutes to go. I said, no, no foul, no foul. Okay, watch it right here. This is uh, Shaquille O'Neal's second free throw. So I think it's a lane violation. Uh -huh. so no foul. Check here. that. Check that. And Shaquille. So magkakaroon pa ng pagkakataon na si Shaquille na medyo pagandahin pa ng konti ang kanyang free throw record so far dito sa Game 5. But it's 2 out of 11 from the stripe for Shaq Daddy. And still nothing. And uh, well, okay yung gamble ng Dallas. 
They gave up the two free throws. Walang puntos for Miami, and they have possession again. And it's the glove on the jet. Jason Terry. Terry out to Howard. Howard gets the contact. That's a bump. Six seconds to go to the shot clock. And James Posey. Penalty situation. Oh, penalty na ang Miami Heat. And uh, James Posey with four personal fouls na. Dampier is in the game. Eh, mga kulap. If ever crossed the mind of Coach Pat Riley to hack a shot, Dampier. Ah, babalik ngayon. Okay, he sits down. Ito yung sinasabi ko, no? You need to sit him down. Bring him back with two minutes to go because you know they're gonna hack a shot him. Antoine Walker balik sa rotation ni Coach Pat Riley. Howard for another free throw attempt and he makes it. That's a four-point lead. Every point counts here. Okay, hindi na sila pwede mag-hack a shot. Kasi si Shaquille is already sitting down. Should have sat down much earlier. They got two hack a shots on him. Wait, almost losing it. Going for the running jump. Oh, and he gets it! Pasok yun. Oh, what away. a big shot. What a big shot. My <laughs> Cuban, I don't know what he said. Read my lips. Let's see what we can do. This is Dwayne Wade driving on Devin Harris. Over two defenders getting it off the glass. And that's a potential three-point play for the flash. Now, I can understand why at this crucial stage of the game, ang gumagawa siya kay uh, Dwayne Wade, eh si Devin Harris, who's shorter. Um, you know, you might say that he's quicker, but he's being overpowered. I would much rather see a Griffin on top of him. Now, Griffin is in the game now. And let's see whether that is going to be his defensive assignment. See, Dwayne Wade, I think so. Dwayne Wade hot from the free throw line, also hot from the field. Marami nang uh, sinabi ang Dallas dito sa sering ito tungkol sa shooting ng Dwayne Wade. Sabi nila hindi na kaya tumira. But he's already making so many jumpers. He made 10 of 18 jumpers in Game 4, and he's making his fair share dito naman sa Game 5. Pabalik naman tayo sa kapanan ng Dallas. Novitski. Miami looking to close out those driving lanes. Fadeaway jumper. Tough one para kay Jason Terry. And there's a loose ball foul. And it is a Miami ball. If there's a foul, it's going to be shooting two free throws. Off the loose ball foul because that's a penalty. Oh, no, no. Check that. Might have been an offensive foul or maybe no call. Okay, no free throws. No free throws. Balik ngayon, let's see. Uh... Shaquille, is he going to check back in? Well, Dampier is back on the lineup uh, para sa Dallas. Okay. And it will be Wade taking this one up for Miami. Shaquille is not in the game. Wade, another fadeaway. Oh, boy! What a shot! The flash now with 35 points. Finals take of your seat basketball. So by Posey Lee, oh, to the pass by Shaquille O'Neal. Potential three point play. Alpina Tawag, uh, the most dominant big man. Goody! And we are back. It is the fourth quarter of game number five with a minute and 40 remaining. It is a one-point lead for the Heat, led by a legend in the making, Dwayne Wade. Ginawa niya ito nung Game 3, ginawa niya ulit nung Game 4, and here he is again in Game 5, taking over. Well, nakita natin, a little bit of a substitution mistake on the part of Coach Avery Johnson. Griffin he put in for offense instead of defense. And you need Griffin on defense against Wade. Pinagpapalit-palit niya si Griffin at saka si Dampier. He put Dampier on defense when Miami was playing without a legitimate center. And he sat down Griffin when Griffin should have stayed in to play defense against Wade. But here's an opportunity for Dallas with Dirk Nowitzki. Two pressure-packed free throws. Si Shaquille bumalik na sa loob ng court. And Nowitzki taking considerably lesser free throws dito sa Game 5 than in the previous games. He is 4 for 4 from the line. In fact, ang Dallas as a whole, 100% sila sa free throw line. And Nowitzki with another. Oh, oh 
Oh, a push on one. And he missed again. Dirk Nowitzki. First missed free throw ng Dallas. Ito sa laro na ito. At aplana tayo at 89. With a minute and 16 remaining in regulation. Ito na yung window of opportunity that Miami has been looking for all game. And it's Wade. Oh, it up on himself. Oh, to Wade Wade. Again, drilling the shot. I cannot believe yung uh, defense on uh, Dallas. Devin Harris is still in the game playing defense on Wade. And Griffin is sitting down. Novitski with the equalizer. Yes. A big one. Tabla at 91 with 49 seconds remaining here in regulation. Wag po kayong bibitaw mga kapatid. Who is going to take that one game advantage heading into game six? Wade in the air. Doesn't get the contact. Doesn't get the shot. Rebounded down here. And it boils down to these last two possessions. At ang Dallas Mavericks magtatawag ng timeout. They will have 16 seconds left on their shot clock. 23.7 remaining in regulation. And tabla tayo at 91. Magpabalik po kami with the Solar Sports coverage of Game 5 of the 2006 NBA Finals. Right after this, wag po ngayong aalis. 23.7 seconds ang naiiwan dito sa regulation. And in these last 23.7 seconds, this could change the face of this final series. Sino ang kukuha ng Game 5? Tied at 91. Will it be Dallas? Will it be Miami? Nowitzki on the outside. Four seconds left on the shot clock. Oh, look at Drop that. the damn beer for the slam. Again to Shaquille O'Neal. Caught in the perimeter. Trying to help out his teammates. And that is the play that Dallas has repeatedly been making. Forcing Shaquille outside of the shaded area and giving an open look for the center. And that time it was Dampier. You watch it there. Shana began a pick. And Shaquille was caught. Napping that time. And an easy two points. Again, you watch Shaquille, Tumulong, Dampier, wide open. But still 10.1 seconds left here in regulation. Anything can happen. And you don't want to miss a single moment of it. Magbabalik po ang Solar Sports coverage of game number five after this. Sa kasaysayan ng NBA, 10.1 seconds remaining. Angat ang Dallas by 2, 93 to 91. This is Game 5 ng 2006 NBA Finals. Ang mananalo dito will head into Dallas with being one win away from the Larry O'Brien Trophy. They it's go to Wayne. It's going to be the last shot. And Wayne. Wayne. Fade away. Yes! Ties it at 93. Tablan na naman tayo. Tablan na naman tayo. Dwayne Wade, the confidence of this third-year pro. Now, Adrian Griffin had checked in for Jason Terry for defensive purposes. And you watch, it was Griffin on Dwayne Wade, but Wade still getting the shot off. It don't see the no, know that Adrian Griffin should be playing defense on Wade, but somebody is Wade. No matter if it's Harris or Griffin, if I want the shot, I'm going to make that shot. Ito, makita natin ang nangyari. One or one situation. Of course, the value of that play is that Griffin did not give up the foul. That would have been a three-point play opportunity another, for Dwayne Wade. Another clutch performance that pinapakita ni Dwayne Wade. Not something that you usually see from somebody who's been in the league for only three years. But here he is. Standing tall, leading the way para sa Miami Heat. 39 points lang na ipapasok niya dito. Sa dami na naisusulat, he's been asked this question sa mga press conferences. He's being likened to Michael Jordan several times. At bakit hindi? Ito na. Miami looking for one key defensive stop to send this game into overtime. And Dallas looking for the shot that will win it for them. Hindi pa tayo nagkakaroon ng overtime game dito sa final series na ito. Terry is back in the game. They go to Terry. Terry. He needs to take the shot. Shaking and baking against three defenders. No! And we'll go into overtime. Hindi po sabat ang half of the quarter to decide the winner here in this all-important game 5 of the 2006 NBA Finals. Kaya magpapatuloy po ang Solar Sports coverage 
of this game as we head into extra time. This is NBA basketball at its best. Bola sa pinakamalaking entablado sa mundo ng basketball. Here it is, last minute attempt by Jason Terry. Tatlo. Uh, Tatlo uh, uh, white shirts to try to distract Jason Terry from making that shot. A tough he has to miss. A tough shot by all accounts. And we will be heading into extra time. After a few minutes, dyan lang po kayo. Finals, Edgar Dallas, I think, has really stepped up several notches in terms of aggressiveness sa game na to, where they have even outscored the Heat in points in the paint in aggressively going strong to the hole. And we're on to the extra five minutes. Nitong game five, unang possession for Dallas. It's Jason Terry. who had the last opportunity uh, para mabawi pa ang kalamangan, but uh, missed it on a very tough jumper. Speaking of tough jumpers, Nowitzki, fadeaway two, wala. Hassan staying with Nowitzki. The entire time and bothering his shot, Haslem meron ng five personal fouls. Ito na naman! The pull-up jumper by Dwayne Wade. Wade now with 41 points. Tandaan niyo po yung kanyang 42 points ng Game 3. Yan ang kanyang playoff career high. Shot clock reset for Dallas. Again, yung second chance opportunity na sinasabi natin. Devin Harris, That's top a wide of the key, shot. comes up short. O'Neal comes in for the rebound, and he, pati na rin si Nowitzki, hits the floor. And that could be Nowitzki's fourth personal foul. Pasi Haslem and Atawagan, and he's gone. He is gone. Okay, tingnan natin kung nangyari dito. A lot of, oh, that's a shove. That's a shove. Haslem with a forearm. And Haslem... And he goes out. Will be the first player para sa Miami Heat to uh, be fouled out here. And only two points para sa kanya. Si Jason Williams, na nakikita natin on our screens, halos hindi na binalik. No? He has three three-point shots in this game. But Peyton is eating up his minutes. Nowitzki with the screen. Terry backing out. Back to Nowitzki. James Posey ang tumatakip sa kanya. Out to Terry. Terry open. Doesn't drill the three. Posey, he now well and he controls the board. Some crucial misses coming from Jason Terry. But you notice, yung mga tira ng Dallas are coming from the perimeter. They are not high percentage shots. Hindi sila nakakapasok, hindi sila nakakapag-penetrate. Wade now falls short. Oh, look at this transition. And it's off to the races. Terry in unahan lahat. And he draws the foul. At that time, pinadali ni Jason Terry, he had to. He's been missing his outside jumper. That's sabi niya, I'm just going to go straight to the hole. We're going to talk about the performance of Wade, who already has 41 points. But what about Jason Terry? 33 points. Na siya. The Jets on the line. He had 32 points in game number one. Uh, see Jason Terry looking for another silencer from the line. Terry, four for four already. Mula sa free throw line. And he makes it. Or back to square one with three minutes and 18 remaining dito sa overtime. Magandang araw, Pilipinas. You are watching the Solar Sports coverage of Game 5 of the NBA Finals. And it looks like a hack a shack again. They fouled Shaquille O'Neal. Harris giving up the foul on Shaquille. And Devin Harris with his second personal foul. Ah, hindi pa naman sa penalty. Okay, not yet in the penalty. And it's Peyton on the outside. Quickly going to Wade. Wade will ask the double team. Kick out the one-hander by O'Neal. And Shaquille O'Neal with 18 points. This is his high game in any game so far sa the finals. Meron 18 points and 12 rebounds. The crowd chanting defense. And the whiskey gets open. free. Comes up short. At kanino mapupunta ang possession, babalik sa Dallas! Last touchdown na Miami, sabi ng officials. Lucky break. Nowitzki was wide open for that shot. Tingnan Ito, natin. Tingnan natin. Ooh, medyo... 
para na cross yung kamay ni Harris oh. at ni uh, at ni Wade dun, but officials have ruled it for Dallas. So Devin Harris back outside. And Devin Harris. Oh, he drills it. Devin Harris, who was two for eleven from the field. So only second made attempt, but what a big shot para sa kanya. Tabla na naman tayo at 97. And fourth personal foul against Devin Harris. Inuubo sila yung fouls. There's Devin Harris. Ooh. Yeah, he wanted a foul on Shaquille. Four personal fouls now. And Jason Williams is coming in. See, Shaquille is now moving out because he's been the target of those fouls. Wala pa naman sa penalty, but sabi ni Coach Pat Riley, I'd rather have him sit down right now. Well, of course, he takes away from his offense and his defense, but uh, that's when you need, when you're aware that the opposing team is going to a hack a shack strategy. Quick double team on Wade, uh -oh. almost an interception by uh, Nowitzki. Apat na segundo na lang ang iwan sa shot clock ng Miami. And Coach Pat Riley calls for a timeout. Malalaman natin sa ilang sandali kung paano gagamitin ng uh, heat ang natitirang four seconds on their shot clock. Tie tayo at 97 with two minutes and two remaining in overtime. We'll be back. This is the finals action from the American Airlines Arena. Finals. Hey. NBA finals between the Mavericks and the Heat. Dalawa na nag-foul out sa game na to. Si Haslam at saka si Jock. And players with five personal fouls. James Posey. Eric Dampier. Payton for the inbound. He's got to take the shot. With three seconds left, Wade throws it up. Voila. And that is a 24-second violation in Dito Mama ring. And that was coming off a timeout. And they should have worked that ball much better. Hindi maganda execution that time. Okay, nito yung uh, defensive pressure na ilinalagay kay uh, oh. Wade ngayon. Tingnan mo naman. Well, si Harris ang nandolo, no? And, uh... Dalawa yung uh, tumao doon kay Dwayne Wade, but he could have been a decoy in that play. I mean, with four seconds to go, you know that they're going to try to get the ball in the hands of Wade. At uh, hinahanda na, yes, bumalik na nga si uh, Shaquille O'Neal para palitan si Jason Williams. Okay, two minutes to go sa ating uh, overtime period, kaya hindi na, hindi na sila pwede maghakasyak. And what about this? See, uh, Dampier, I baba likrin sa lineup ni coach Avery Johnson. Para palitan si Griffin. A big possession coming up here. At si coach Riley appears to be praying. Or at least deep in, deep in thought. It's Jason Terry from beyond the arc. Nowitzki covered heavily by James Posey. Nowitzki. And on the screen, the handoff, Dampier, tapped away by O'Neill, foul! They work the same play. Yung penetration, galing kay Posey, or rather, sorry, by Kerry, and then, eto yung handoff, nung nakita niya, nag-commit si uh, Shaquille O'Neal, na libre na naman, si Eric Dampier, Shaquille giving up the foul. And masusubukan si Dampier from the free throw line, hindi siya ng uh, free throw attempt home game number four. Ito ang kanyang first free throw attempt here in game number five. And Dampier comes up short. He's feeling the pressure. Shaquille O'Neal has referred to him as Erika. And has also said that he plays soft basketball. But Eric Dampier once said that in the NBA, he's the second best center next only to Shaquille O'Neal. I wonder what Paul Gasol has to say about that. Uh, dito sa nakakabinging American Airlines Arena, Eric Dampier silences the crowd with that free throw. One point lead para sa Dallas, 98 to 97, with a minute and 36 remaining. You see the disparity in free throw attempted. 47 attempts for Miami and 23 for Dallas. Blocking foul. foul. Blocking foul. Laban kay Devin Harris. And there he is. Five personal fouls now para kay Harris. Still not in the penalty. Is Dallas. Inbound by Posey.
Still 12 seconds left on the shot clock para sa heat. Payton, hesitation. Hinahanap ang bounce pass, they go to the baseline. Walker, last three seconds, goes for the finger roll. Covered and controlled by Nowitzki. Crucial possession here para sa Dallas. In that situation, neither Shaquille nor D. Wade had the touch. Howard from the double team going for the teardrop. Now there's a foul. And O'Neal. At then ang kanyang panglimang personal foul. Less than a minute to go. It's a game. And watch it here once more. Josh Howard with 25 points. He had a super first half. Anina. He had 19 in the half. And Howard misses that free throw. Now, hindi lang ito yung pressure. Ito exhaustion na din eh. Remember, these players have been going at it, playing physical basketball from start to finish. We are in extension. Oh, and, and over free throw. two. Oh, for two for Josh Howard. Up until this point, na ipasok niya lahat ng free throws niya. But in the little crucial the free throw, and Dini Nai Pasok, he has 25 points in this ball game, playing 48 minutes. And they call a timeout. Dwayne Wade, hindi ko magatang fake. And seven seconds ang my Ewan's a shot clock ng Miami, 36.8 remaining here in overtime. Taking a look at Wade. And at this point, he would call the timeout. Harris. The finals, last home game para sa Miami bago maglipat ang serye sa Dallas for game number six. Na i-eripuli namin over RPN on Wednesday morning at nine. At kami na naman po ang mga kasama nyo for that game. Si Vito lang sa team po along with Chinito Henson. At ang mga taga-suporta ng Miami dito sa American Airlines Arena, lahat po ay nakatayo in what, has, what is probably the tensest moment of the season. The Heat down by one. Only seven seconds left on their shot clock here. Now four seconds. Payton decides to go for it. Gets oh, it on the gas! Oh, Gary Payton with a surprise move. Another end game heroic move. Mulake Gary Payton. He won it in game three with that 18 foot jumper. And this time, Walana Shang Mapupuntahan goes all the way, throws it up, gets it off the glass, and just like that, Lamang Lang Miami. When you talk about the experience, Tinapot Lang Yimbola, but that's what I was saying. In a situation like this, you would expect the ball going to the hands of Dwayne Wade. And maybe Wade was the decoy in that play. But finding himself open for that layup was Gary the Glove, Peyton, oh, now oh, with oh. eight points. This is his high game in the finals. Balikan natin ang nangyari nung game three. With time winding down, Peyton fakes, then makes. And that was the, uh, the shot that turned the tide. Yun po ang isang attempt ni Gary Peyton nung buong laro na yun. Shot clock is reset for Dallas. So they need to play tough defense right here. Do not give up the foul. This is their biggest defensive stand of the game because they are protecting a one-point lead. And we're talking to the Miami Heat. Get Devin, play. Devin Harris over to Jason Terry, covered by Gary Payton. Terry, Inahanam si Nowitzki. Nowitzki provides the screen. Terry, hindi mga Howard, nowhere else to go also. They go to Nowitzki. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Nowitzki drives right. Munti kang mamawala ang possession. Take the fadeaway two! The fadeaway two! Pasok! Pasok! Lamang na naman ang Mavericks. 100 to 99. 9.1 remaining here in overtime. Oh! You couldn't ask anything more from the defense of Miami. Maha, 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 maha. 1.1 seconds remaining in overtime. 100 to 99 ang ating score. Highest scoring game so far dito sa 2006 NBA Finals. At lamang ang Dallas thanks to a pressure cooker jumper mula kay Dirk Nowitzki. And this last possession for Miami. One last chance to win it.
And here's Dwayne Wade all the way in the backcourt. Double team on Wade. Wade can't get away. Lays it up. And he will go to the line. It looks like he was fouled. It looks like he was fouled. And what a play. They put the ball all the way in the backcourt. You, you're allowed that. And, and Dwayne Wade, it was just solo effort on his part. Solo effort. Well, I don't know what he's doing. Didn't want to give it the foul, the pass to Shaquille because he would have been fouled. Wade, 19 for 23 from the free throw line, 41 points. Ang naipapasok na niya dito sa game number five, and he will have the two most important free throws of the series so far right now. And Coach Pat Riley, he ties it up. Tabla na tayo at 100. All Miami needs now is one more and one defensive stop. And Coach Avery Johnson, 1.9 seconds to go. Uh, to Coach Avery Johnson and magtatawag that timeout. That's his last timeout. So, you check that. That would be the last timeout of the Mavericks, but will they give it? The timeout is finally given to Coach Avery Johnson. Nagkaroon lang ng uh, uh, konting kalituan dito. Whether or not that timeout was called, and yes. Looks like a timeout has been called. They want to freeze the free throw shooter. And Coach Avery Johnson is agitated about something. Well, this may that, will be, that will be his last timeout. Now, I don't know. Maybe he wanted to call a timeout in the event that the second free throw would enter. But it looks like they're giving him the timeout now. I, I don't know if that's a vote of contention, but I would seem to think that that would be the more logical thing for him to do. Call a timeout after the second free throw. Then you have 1.9 seconds to try to execute a final play. But they give him the timeout. And... At tingnan ulit natin na nangyari dito. Now what happens here is that kung may pasok, kung may pasok si Wade yung kanyang second free throw, 1.9 seconds to go, they'll have to throw the ball length of the court to try to get off a shot. Well, okay. Coach, well, Coach Avery Johnson, may balik na niya mga players niya sa bench and... Uh, He's given them the last minute instructions, 1.9 right. remaining. And Dallas has no timeout left. No timeout left. So, in a situation like this, Dwayne Wade will want this basket, this, this last point, and this could be the winning shot right here, the winning point. One free throw to shift the momentum. Itong seri na ito. As the Miami Heat hope to be only the second team in NBA history to sweep the middle games. Magbula ng install on 2-3-2 format. Here's the free throw. Wade makes it. And 1.9 seconds to go. No timeout left. They'll have to inbound the length of the floor and hope for a prayer. It will be Marquis Daniels for the inbound. Where will he go? He finds Devin Harris. Harris launches it. And it's over. It's over. Miami has swept the three middle games and now leads 3-2 in the series, moving to game six in Dallas. Unbelievable! When the smoke is cleared, one man stands tall, 24-year-old Dwayne Wade, who won it from the free throw line, coming up big in the fourth quarter and in extra time. What a win! 101-100 to is our final score. Finals edge. Shaquille O'Neal, potential three-point play. And Pinatawag, uh, the most dominant big man to ever play the we game. We just revved the 12 rebounds. New playoff career high for Ramante Dwayne Wade with 43 points as the Heat sweep the middle three games, taking game five. Sila ngayon ang angat sa serie, 3-2 to two over the Mavericks. At ngayon, balikan natin one last time ang Dean's List. Okay, yung uno-unang punto natin sa ating Dean's List for Miami was to hold Dallas to foul trouble. Passing mark. Limit Mavericks second chance points. X mark because Dallas had 20 
to uh, rather 18 second chance points as against only 13 for Miami. And that was also a big problem area for the Miami Heat. So X mark on that one. Inside outside attack. Yes, unlimited post game analysis. Jan po, ang kandito na lang po from Miami, Florida. When we see you again, we'll be coming to you from Dallas for the continuation of the best of seven series this Wednesday morning at 9 a.m. for game six of this series na ipapalawas pa rin on Solar Sports and over RPN. So para kay Kinito Henson and for producer Eric Tam, eto po si Vito Lazatin saying goodbye for now. Thank you for watching.